map. I should have got the map before I came here. Um, I think I might be good. If not, I can always pick things up after I come here. Yeah, I am good, actually. Alright, so there's an, maybe an area I could do. Damn it. I missed. Do oh, I missed. Yeah, I, I really killed my momentum there. That's that's what you want to do. Just there we go, and I gotta do it about right there. So pretty much, almost once you're half arc, you want to let go, and you pretty much go flying. That's uh, that's a good way to ensure you go long distances. Okay. Okay, don't need that, don't need that. Um, this is what I want to get, because I can actually see if I can go other place than that one place. Mm -hmm. That's just some energy return. Okay. Can I get there quickly and back? Yes, I can. Okay, so we're actually going to do the thing I've been mentioning that I'll probably just get them back to, but I might as well just do it. So we're going to go through here again. And... I just love the heat background, some of the heat background stuff in this. It just adds so much atmosphere, and that's what... And that's what, you know, I need to equip my ice beam. Alright. And we gotta freeze him, and then we can actually go up here, or seeing that I have the grappling beam, we can swing along there. So, if we had the ice beam, we can come back here before we get the power bombs, but, you know, I didn't. There's a hidden platform here with a. Thing, but I'm too impatient to actually wait for the platform to go, so I'm just going. Yeah, once you actually play this, playing this for the first time, I recommend taking your time a lot. And there's a missile there, but if you're obviously if you're playing this, all right, you probably want to wait for that to block there to reappear and then jump up there instead. Of doing what I just did, but, again, impatient. <laughs> Alright, going here... Alright, go here, and ice, take it off. Okay. So, I got pretty much everything I need to get to the wrecked ship now, and then fight one of the, oh my god, the most most random boss in the entire game, which I, I don't know. A lot of them, other guys, you can pretty much just mosey, definitely mosey through. This one, you just, you, you gotta wait, and you gotta wait for them. certain attacks, and you gotta wait for them. And I think he's in... actually, I think he is in... Other M, also. Craig's not in Other M. No, he's not. I'm just thinking... Come to think of it... Is the bosses from this also in Other M? Which I know Ridley is. Ridley is... And Fanto Phantom is also. I don't know about that other guy and the the water guy and the and Craig. I don't know. Can't remember. I haven't played the game in quite some time. Oh, there's another game that gets terrible reviews, but I didn't think was that bad. 
I speak, yes, I speak in vile blasphemy, as you know. Elder M, oh, that's good. I have to say, I really, really enjoyed Elder M. Um, yeah, I came this way, so let's just go up here. Shave off a little bit of time. Like I said, this run that I'm doing right now, I really don't know if I'm going to get the best ending. If I don't, then... Because it's also a little difficult to kind of be quick and do commentary. I don't know, it just seems well for me. And saying that this and that... Basically, right now it seems like a play-by-play -play thing, which I hate doing, but... I want to explain what's going on and why I'm doing it, and I can't really talk about anything else other than other than what's on the screen, because I usually come to a part where okay, well I can do that, and then I go to a part where oh I will need to want to explain what I'm doing, so I can't really go into grand explanations to do what I want to do. So for this part, this is why we need the. the grappling beam to get across here, although it is very, very possible, and I've actually seen in speedruns, that you can actually get past here without the grappling beam. Yes. Okay. So, actually, I'm going to go in the water here for a moment. And I'm going to bomb right about there. And go in here. Now, I could do this after I get the gravity suit, but I'm like, I can do it without it, so I might as well do it. Because you want to avoid, especially, as much backtracking as possible. You don't want to do too much backtracking. Unless it's absolutely necessary. Some things that are absolutely necessary that you need to... Like, you need the gravity suit with the speed booster, and you can't use the speed booster in water without the gravity suit. Okay. Okay, there's nothing there. And these green ones you can actually grapple onto. Alright. Super bomb. So we go into the wreck ship, which is supposedly another ship that crashed to land on, on here. Seeing that it's Phantom, which I'm pretty sure is not native of Zebus. Now the greatest thing is that seeing that the power is off, spikes don't hurt you for some reason. I have no idea. Even these don't. Like, I don't know. And I just noticed that there's blood on those. I just noticed that. It's like, holy cow, I've been playing this game for years. Since it like pretty much came out and I didn't notice that there was no blood. There's blood. I can't go over here, can I? Because I'd love to actually, if I could. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff. There's robots and robots in the way, so I can't actually do it. Okay, so I just want to make sure that I... I, I had... I couldn't go over there because it... When I replayed this, I got 99% of them. Like, where is that last thing that I need? That last freaking... Okay. Now there is a save point, I think, over there on the left, but you can't actually use it because there's no power to it. Which is... Kind of, kind of, kind of a cheat. So we got Phantom, as I already mentioned his name. Taking off my ice. There's no point in actually taking off my ice, but I just wanted to. So pretty much you cannot hurt him without him opening his eyes. So he's pretty much void as fire until he 
opens his eyes. So he'll disappear and reappear with his eye open, and that's when you can hit him. I will display why you probably don't want to use super missiles with him. Oh, okay. Hmm, I might have found a very interesting way to beat him now. Wow. Really? Okay, this might be interesting. Okay, I need to... Come on. Where are you? You one-eyed, eyeball, big head thing, I don't know. Alright, let's get some missiles. Super missiles. Okay, well, it's too late on my actual thing there. But normally you just pretty much hit him, he takes off. Okay, so... That's actually not a bad idea, actually. I actually saw this somewhat this way of hitting him with the, the wave beam and just hitting with missiles to get him down. And it seems to work, I have to say, but I'm using Spazer and... Wow, that's actually a little faster. I'm actually going to get my super missiles. See if we can kill him upright. You're gonna take probably a lot of damage with this too. Alright, now this is why you don't want to hit him with super missiles because he freaking uses this attack, which is okay, but he does it for quite some time. So he punishes you basically for using super missile attack on him. He's almost dead, and I need to just... And I missed him. Damn, I missed. Okay. Come on. I know you're here somewhere. Okay. And there he was dead. So, pretty much it was Phantom who was draining the energy, so once you defeat him, the power does come back on, so... Very pixelated death sequence. So yes, very... <laughs> could go either way. You can probably have a very easy time on him, or you can have a very hard time on him. But I actually found a... Is there a, is this a save point? I'm not totally sure if this is a save point. 